Hello again. In this video, we are in the Lake District. We've moved up to uh, Rider Water for, for the day, just to do some, uh, some photography around here. And, and the, it's pouring down outside. As you, can, you can't see out there, but I'll show you in a few minutes. It, it, it is wet. There's no definition in the sky. So we, we've taken shelter in, um, in Rydal Cave, which is uh, it's a man-made cave. It was, uh, it was quarried out quite a few years ago for slate. And uh, there's no river running through, although it is absolutely full of water. And there's lots of drips coming down from the ceiling. But it's a great place and it's a, a, it's a, a frequent uh, location for visitors. If you, if you want to photograph this location, you've got to get here early in the morning. If you come mid-morning, hey, you're going to miss the best light and there's no good light today. But also, you're going to have loads and loads of people around and, uh, and waiting around to actually get a moment when there's, there's no people around is, is, is you're going to re really require lots of patience. So what we're going to try and do today is we're going to try and photograph the, the, the mouth of the cave from the inside. It's a popular shot, lots of people do it. There is, um, there is a row of stepping stones that, that kind of leads out, so we're going to use those as a, as a leading line. Really simple setup actually um, today. What we've got is our um, tripod quite low to, uh, to try and get the, these leading lines quite close. Um, and just a camera on top. I did play around with, uh, with using a polarizing filter, but uh, there's nothing in the sky to bring out. And actually the, the, there's not too much reflection on the water I want to get rid of because I want to leave some reflection in there. So I've decided to go without a polarizing filter. Now, the challenge here is we're in a cave. So what's happening in the cave is it's obviously really dark. Now, it, it kind of looks where, look okay where we are now, but as soon as you start to look out the front of the cave, it's just sunlight and daylight. Um, so what we need to try and do is we need to try and balance that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bracket my photographs. I'm gonna take seven pictures. Now, what I'm not gonna do is stack them in HDR. I'm gonna use my camera's built-in settings. As I say I'm using a Nikon D850, which is gonna take seven photographs one stop apart and what that's going to do is that's going to give me a broad range of images so hopefully well not hopefully because I've, i will check on the camera i will get um a bit of light in the cave from a from a, a longer shutter speed and then as the shutter speeds get slower i'll start to get the the outside of the cave nicely exposed so everything's set up on this camera let's just let's just set that going first thing i've done let's move out the way for it a little bit is i've used my self timer so the self timer is actually being used to just to make to steady the camera rather than me pressing the button seven times and then as it takes the pictures it just takes them one after another if you're doing it without the self timer on most cameras you actually press the button seven times but as soon as you activate the self timer it'll take all seven in one go great let's have a look at that picture and as we can see the we can see the outside of the cave nicely exposed it, it's a bit of a gray day there's not much definition in that sky but there's a little bit of mist on the top of that mountain and then as we come uh, more further into the cave we can see we can see the rocks we can see the wet on the rocks and, and it's kind of looking um, not, not too bad so that's our image for the day and uh, i hope you like it and uh, yeah thank you very much for watching Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have enjoyed it, please leave us some comments down below. There's a button just there as well that you can use to, uh, to subscribe to our channel. And uh, if you want to watch some more videos, try these two because uh, they've, uh, they've been picked from our channel that um, hopefully you'll enjoy those. Um, until next time, thank you very much for watching.